Ready? Well, a huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a 5 2 player type, but certainly the more well rounded fighter has no problem engaging in No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Beautiful a critical takedown here. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Jones gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Left hand punch with the clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Under three minutes now to go in the round. Miacic's strike attempt there is blocked. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, beautiful takedown by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stack guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, takedown attempt after takedown attempt, and the cardio. The cardio to wrestle that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet, but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Good stick. Jones leaning on the kicking game here tonight, DC. Pretty good strategy early. And that is usually what he leads with. He's a great kicker. He's a guy that has a variety of kicks. Spinning kicks. Another kick down land. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he won to take tonight in this fight. All right, let's look back at some... All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Yeah, round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in it. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round two. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's got to mix things up a bit more. Get some strikes to the body already. Just out of the range with that right hand. Boom. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. Jones has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. That one stuck in. Nice strike. That's a good right hand there by Stipe. Maybe he'll attack the body here. You can certainly speak to that. He's yeah. a guy who mixes it up well. He's a guy that can do everything. It not only can you land punches, the high punches, but is a master of adjusting on the fly whenever he's inside the octagon. So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have landed for John Jones. Just below 50% thus far, landing with 44% accuracy against Stipe Miocic. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. 
right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Jones is right back to the full mount here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Good work from the top here by Johnny Bump. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. All right, close guard now. Got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Jones gets back up. No surprise there. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. And he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. Then you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you do UFC champion. Jones seems desperate. Keep that title wrap around the waist. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. And both guys really throwing with a forward. Bring him up close. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. One over the top. Oh, nice combination, yes. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, he gets the takedown. Could he'll afford that. Miocic got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Now he's going to attack the triangle choke here. tonight champ i mean you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard he's so skilled he's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bernalde has called a stop in this contest at 2 minutes, 30 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, John Paul!